we discussed the first order approximation or the linear approximation of a function and the quadratic approximation of some function but we may continue if we know if we have a lot of information about a lot of derivatives suppose we know f a f prime a f double prime a until the nth derivative in a then we may define the so-called Taylor polynomial which is the order n approximation of a function in a so this is f a plus f prime a times x minus a which is no more than the linear approximation and then we get a quadratic and, and for any higher order approximation we add one term and the term we add here is the final term is the nth derivative in a divided by n factorial times x minus a. Well n factorial is just n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 until 1. Well there's the following theorem and it's not easy to prove but you might be able so. So if you want to be challenged then you may be inspired by the proofs you found for the quadratic approximation and the linear approximation that the Taylor polynomial, the nth order Taylor polynomial, is the unique polynomial which satisfies n conditions. Well, the conditions are that the function values, uh, the function value in A agrees with the function value of F, and all its derivatives in A until the nth derivative in A agree with the derivative of f. So the final condition is that the function t if we take a derivative n times and evaluate in a then we get the nth derivative of f in a.